to make a cup of coffee because today's 12 mornings of coffee is a light and balanced roast and I find that lighter roasts are always a lot harder to dial in and I feel like they taste really great with like a pour over so I got my pour over situation going here and that's what we're gonna do Santa Claus is packing the presents making sure you can be coffee was really good I got this pour over from Target and it's still sold I believe I'll try to link it down below from hearth and hand by Magnolia it's so simple but it's really pretty like aesthetically pretty on your counter this is actually a really nice roast for coffee but happy vlogmas day 12 it's so bittersweet I can't believe that I low-key want to continue vlogging which I still will I have some things that I want to share like nail videos and things like that my kids are doing school so I have to do School with Eloise, the other two have like the computer programs that they use. But first things first, I wanna I wanted to put on some eye patches and do my skincare a little bit. So I'm gonna wash my face. I just repurchased a whole I'm all out. I was hating on this product like crazy when I first got it. It is the sandalwood best skin ever. There's a sandalwood one and there's sea buckthorn oil. And it's minimal ingredients. For example, this one has jojoba oil, sandalwood chamomile it's like 10 different things um, and it smells very natural kind of like what you would expect uh, essential oil type product to smell like but I use this in the evenings as my first step oil cleanser to get and melt all of that makeup off and I feel like it's been working so well so I ended up buying another one on Amazon because it just works great as like a two-step cleanser I'm not gonna do a moisturizer just yet because I want to apply some eye patches and eye patches are essentially a serum so serum always goes before a moisturizer so I'm gonna apply a few serums and moisturize around the eye patches once I have them on I have these here from patchology which I love patchology this is their serve chilled bubble eye gels and I have these in the rosé ones and I love to put them in the fridge or the freezer like flash freeze them when they put them on it feels so great in the morning but they slip a lot wander beauty is hands down one of my favorite eye patches but they add up so I got this on Amazon a while back not that long ago and these are reusable like silicone ones and what you do is you apply a regular eye cream or eye serum I have this one that was sent to me from kindness beauty it's 10% niacinamide eye repair mask and it has like these little balls in it that you can they don't they don't pop but they melt this is another skincare brand that takes the thought to try to create really great products without like all this other junk in it and then the eye patches came with this little scoopy thing and then rollerball so I just scoop out a pea sized amount and I apply it around the eyes to both eyes and then I just use the roller side to kind of melt those balls into the skin this actually feels really nice like a little mini morning massage I don't wear eye patches all the time, but when I want like a self-care moment, a little bit of extra something, like eye patches are really great to have. And then you just apply the silicone patches on top. And these are the best ones. I've tried Pacifica ones before this, and these are so much more superior because they are thin and they stay on your skin and they don't slip, they don't slide, they stay put, they let that serum soak into the skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply moisturizer to the rest of the face. But first I'm actually apply my snail mucin because it's winter time and I definitely need it. So I'm gonna go do schoolwork with my daughter. And then I wanna show you guys some new Lily lashes that I got in the mail. Yesterday I showed the disappointing Lashify advent calendar. I'm still kind of upset about it because I feel like Lashify doesn't sell scrunchies. Like on their website, they don't sell scrunchies. They're known for lashes so when you're buying a Lashify advent calendar you think you're gonna get lash products it's like why am I getting scrunchies I don't want the scrunchies take them back but I didn't create it so whatever it is what it is back home in New York there was a local coffee shop called oh it's not the Grinch it's the mistletoe they call it the mistletoe so it's matcha with white chocolate and peppermint dusted with crushed candy canes let it kind of focus in so I decided to recreate it. I went to the store yesterday at Walmart and I got some lint chocolates. These are the white chocolate with peppermint. So add a nice pepperminty flavor. 
I got some candy canes I'm gonna crush. I'm gonna use two, two chocolates in my drink. If you like more of a sweeter drink, then you're probably gonna wanna buy white chocolate syrup because I feel like these just, it wasn't sweet enough or you can maybe add a little bit of honey, but I did taste like a distinct pepperminty, slightly sweet flavor from adding these chocolates in. So the way that I make it personally, I unwrap these, put them in a cup. I'm like so tempted to eat them right now. Mm -hmm. One yeah, for you, one I for Louise. Having... So I have these two in my cup and I'm gonna boil some water and then melt them using hot water. And then to the chocolate, I'm also gonna add a scoop of some matcha powder and I'm gonna kind of whisk it and blend it all together. So a little bit of matcha in there. I'm gonna use a spoon at first to kind of squish the chocolates and melt them. And then I'm gonna use a handheld frother to whisk everything, I feel like it really helps the clumps in the matcha. The white chocolate is all melted, but do you see like the clumps? So I'm gonna use this handheld whisk right here and just whisk it right up. Ooh, it's kind of splashing everywhere. And now I'm gonna froth some milk. I'm gonna use my husband's sourdough starter as a stand. My sister-in-law, my husband's sister, got him into all these different things making kombucha now he's trying to do his own sour sourdough so he just started on that but i'm going to use it to like hold my camera and all you do is add your steamed milk and place some crushed candy cane like peppermint crunch on top and that's essentially it i think another great option would be if you had white chocolate kind of um, use it around the rim and then dip the cup in peppermint. I did that when I did a Nutella latte with Nutella and hazelnut and it was so good and then you make your drink after you dip it and um, I think that'd be really cute but you know we're not doing that. So good. I never thought peppermint and matcha like I never never thought of that combo but it's so good and then the sweetness of the white chocolate Highly recommend making it at home. And all you need is white chocolate and candy canes and some matcha. Here's the arched mirror that I want to do a garland for. And this is going to be the last thing that I decorate for Christmas before I want to do like a mini holiday house tour, the RV tour. Not that there's like, my RV is not decked out, but it's like super cozy and I'm going to miss all the Christmas decor. But I want to do kind of like maybe starting from here down to the floor-ish. We'll see. My husband brought some pine which is not ideal i wish it was the like pine is more fluffy this one's a lot more fluffy so it's gonna be like super thick but he brought some from the land and i got some floral wire and i'm gonna try to we're gonna try to come up with every something. christmas honey yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat putting on the show for everybody to give them a smile Here's the end result here. I'm pretty happy with it. I ended up taking it apart completely and I started from this corner here. And then I took some floral wire and attached the next piece. Then I took the next piece and attached it to a branch using floral wire and then just did it all the way down. I feel like that way it was a lot easier and this is the end result. It's not as full as I want it to be, but I'm just gonna leave it like this and I feel like I'm pretty happy with it. And, um, and I also have a command hook somewhere here and then there. So all you need is some command hooks, pine, which you can find outside, and some floral wire. And you can just make yourself a little garland. I also want to bake some Christmas cookies with the kids today. I have some gingerbread cookie mix I got at LD. If you guys watched one of the first couple of vlogs, I got some at LD. And I got some cookie cutouts, some icing. So I think we're going to do that today. But we're going to do that like later today. I had some string lights and I added them on here. And I feel like it's so much cuter. This is so cozy, I love it. My husband said he's coming home now. He also did some grocery shopping, but we wanted to get started on the cookies. This is the gingerbread mix that I got at Aldi. You just need to add, you need to add butter, water, and an egg. And then we might do some hot chocolate. I got these cuties at Aldi as well, they're like hot milk, hot chocolate stirs. Got some cookie cutters. I got these at Target a 
few, I think last year maybe, the like little stamps for cookies. And then some icing. So we're gonna make some cookies. Christmas baby The snow is laid into feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing When December is when the chill morning since I said good morning um, I usually don't roll over vlogmas into the next day but I had to scrap some content from yesterday's vlog I did my lashes in yesterday's video and I had to scrap that whole portion of the video because I have to tread very carefully with my what lashes I share and I'll explain why so grab your coffee grab your tea grab your smoothie grab your water whatever you're drinking and i'm about to spill some tea y'all no, i'm just kidding we're not spilling tea we're not being super dramatic i don't like to bring too much attention to this but i did want to finally sit down and have a conversation about something that i went through and why i no longer really do lash lash reviews in the sense of like actually sharing different lashes with you guys so i started my youtube channel in the beginning of 2019, I don't know if it was, I think it was the end of January. So this is why I say I'm coming up on five years being on YouTube. I actually started with an iPhone. I think it was like an iPhone 7S. The quality was not that good. The audio was awful. It was so quiet and I would get comments like, oh, I can't hear anything. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's because my I'm filming on my iPhone. And then soon after I got a camera and it all just kind of started from there. But just goes to show you know to start you don't really need anything fancy schmancy the most important thing is actually starting so that was the beginning of 2019 and summertime my the girl that does my lashes she went overseas to go visit family so she would have been gone for the whole summer so i started looking at i don't know if i started looking at other options out there or i came across an ad or what happened but i stumbled upon lashify this was summer of 2019 and they were already pretty established at that point they were still brand new I think they might have been maybe a year old I think they had a Facebook group going from what I remember with quite a few members so I wasn't the first one they had their core lashes and they only had a few volume lashes I don't think they even had their subscription service I think they came out with that later that year I used to follow them and I was like a hardcore lash lashify user for like a good year or so so I bought their control kit and I shared about it on a YouTube video and I feel like from there on, a lot of my videos revolved around doing your own lashes at home. I love DIY beauty, and lashes just became a big part of my channel. I made a lot of my lash videos private. All these videos here are private lash videos that I made private, and I'll kind of explain why. So lashes became a big part of my channel. I 
saw that people, especially since the big C hit, I feel like you couldn't just go and get your lashes done. So a lot of people were looking to do things at home. And I do feel like the market grew a lot. So I was just sharing about all the different lash options that were available to consumers from my understanding and then last year i received a allegedly i allegedly received a dm on instagram saying that i will be sent a cease and desist and if i do not stop sharing about all these lash reviews i will be sued allegedly this allegedly happened and since then I've just been treading very carefully I made a lot of my lash videos private and I've been very careful about what I put out there but at the same time I do feel like I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to DIY lashes because I have been doing them since 2019 and I'm here to help you I'm here to learn with you because I have changed my techniques since I've started I have learned a lot of things and I'm still learning a lot of things and I want to share that with you guys so that is why I took a huge step back from lash reviews and I try to share it like I said I try to share information but I try to keep it at that and I won't revisit this this topic again and I don't <clears throat> promote even if you might have a slight idea of what or who or whatever I 100% the reason why I never wanted to bring it to light is because I don't want the comments to be filled like oh I can't believe that's so you know I don't want I don't want that but I will say it did um affect my thought process of where I wanted to go going forward like kind of moving forward I did take a break for a little bit and I was kind of trying to figure stuff out lashes is not why I started my channel I was trying to go back to why I started my channel and what the purpose was and I think the main reason why I started my channel there were two the first one is I just wanted to share at that time my kids were still little my I have three kids my youngest was, I think she was like one and a half. No, when I started working, she wasn't even one. I started working my part-time job when she was like three months old. I remember I had a really hard time because I never left any of my kids to go work. I stayed home with all of them. And then this was the first one I went to go work at a Christian school. And I was like having a really hard time with that, leaving her, even though my mom would be watching her. It was just like really hard for me. And eventually, like I fell in love with the part-time job and met so many great kids they're just so amazing but and it was only part-time and then I did accounting also that year for the school I did accounting I was trying to take over the main accountant but it just got to be too much and I was doing the YouTube channel at the same time and then we started homeschooling so I kind of gave up the part-time job and the accounting and I just focused solely on YouTube because I saw that you know maybe maybe this could be something even though I didn't hit a thousand subscribers until like later that year 2019 I didn't get monetized until I did a charcuterie video of all things I did a charcuterie the charcuterie spread table I think I filmed it for one of the kids birthdays and then half a year later for some reason it just like blew up in November and I hit a thousand subscribers and my watch hours that's the main now I think they changed the rules but I hit like, I think he did like 3,000 watch hours or something. But going back to what I was saying, I was like a mom of three young kids. And I just wanted to share like certain aspects of life and connect to people. And that's the beautiful thing about this community is I have not met probably anyone. I don't think that's like on, that I DM with, that I chat with. And I feel like you guys are literally my friends. As soon as I see some of the usernames, I will like immediately put a face to the name. And I feel like I know you. Even though I don't, it's like the weirdest thing ever. But it's the it's an amazing thing because you feel like even though the world is so big, it's so small and you just you feel like it's you're you know, you're with your friends and you're sharing things and that's just the beautiful thing. It's so like for me I wanted to delete my Instagram so many times. I like posting on Instagram but I don't know, like I'm okay with deleting my Instagram. Like I don't really need it, you know? But I can't because I have so many people that I talk to there that I feel like if I deleted it, I would lose connection with them. It's like Facebook. You know, if you delete your Facebook, you're going to lose connection with those people. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to keep my Facebook. That's how I feel. Like, I don't want to cut these people off and lose connection with them. I want to keep talking to them. I don't know. It's just like an amazing community, you know. And I just love that part of YouTube. I just went on a long tangent. But that was reason number one. Reason number two is because it allowed me to make a very small income. Humble little income for myself you know to do something for myself at home keep myself busy instead of you know going out for a part-time job i'm able to kind of 
work from home while I'm with my kids and for me when I think about quitting YouTube or something I'm like you know this is like a blessing to film share things I can edit from home it's not that difficult it's not that hard so why would I give that up you know but at the same time I had a moment where I was like you know maybe this is God's way of saying you know look this is not for you this is not where I want you to be so I had that thought process where I was like you know maybe God doesn't want me to do this maybe he's trying to tell me that you know you're not growing you're not getting the views um, you look at these forks in the road you're coming to it's because I want you somewhere else so I did think of that and I feel like eventually you get to where you need to be just be loyal in the small stuff because how can he trust you with the big stuff if he can't even trust you with the small stuff you know so I'm just taking it day by day as it comes and I truly don't know what the future holds I do want to share we're living in the RV we're building a house not my days are not like super Instagrammable sometimes some weeks I don't even leave my house because I'm just here all day I'm thankful for you guys and I'm so grateful to have virtually met so many of you and you guys are truly good people I hope you know that like truly good people and I pray the Lord blesses you whatever you're going through this holiday season if it's a hard one I pray that you feel the peace the love the joy truly like I pray when I pray I pray about my youtubers my peoples on Instagram all you guys like I genuinely wish you guys could feel this peace the peace of God and the love of God like what I feel I wish everyone can feel and I want you guys to have this peace and joy that surpasses all understanding and yeah and I hope you guys have a great truly I hope you guys have a good holiday season and I hope it is filled with you know real love and I hope you guys feel treasured and special because you are and thank you for making me feel that way even though I feel like I don't deserve it thank you guys so much and I just wanted to say Merry Christmas thank you guys for watching my videos and for all of the love you guys shared in the comments I'm so thankful and I really hope to see you guys in any future videos. Bye.